It's September 6th, 1995, and Cal Ripken Jr. is up to bat at Camden Yards. It's Ripken's 2,131st consecutive game. He's finally broken Lou Gehrig's seemingly untouchable consecutive games played record. Ripken hits it over the fence, the home crowd goes wild, and this moment becomes one of the most memorable at-bats in baseball history. Oh my goodness! He's done it again! Ripken's consecutive game streak was a huge deal for the Orioles, even after he beat Gehrig's record. The streak put fans in seats, and it was part of Ripken's and the Orioles' identity. And that's why many people think that the Orioles would do anything to keep the streak alive. Cal Ripken Jr.'s streak was still alive two years later when the Seattle Mariners came to Baltimore on August 14, 1997. But Cal Ripken Jr. was nowhere to be found. Luckily for Cal, the game was never played. There was a power outage at Camden Yards that night that forced the Orioles to cancel the game. So where was he? Well, on August 14th, Cal Ripken Jr. left his house to go to the game, turned back around because he forgot something, walked into his house and found his wife in bed with another man. But it wasn't just any other man. It was Kevin Costner. So the two of them got in a huge fight. Cal Ripken Jr. broke his arm or got arrested or something, and he was gonna miss the game, and the Orioles found out. So they fabricated a power outage so that the streak would stay alive. All right, let's back up a second. Everything I just said is part of a wild internet conspiracy theory, and most of it is either flat out untrue or just completely unproven. So here are the facts. In the 1990s, a lot of Hollywood's best actors were actually just huge tools, and therefore Kevin Costner was one of Tinseltown's most ubiquitous stars. He starred in, produced, and even directed Oscar-winning films and also some movies about America's favorite pastime. Full disclosure, I haven't seen any of these movies because I'm not old and born. Costner's critically acclaimed Oscar-winning masterpiece, Dances with Wolves, debuted in 1990. And if you're wondering what any of this has to do with Cal Ripken Jr., let me present you this photo. This photo was taken at the premiere of Dances with Wolves at the Kennedy Center in DC. After meeting, the two men, similar in age and stardom, became friends. Costner was such good friends with Ripken that in 1991, he came to an Orioles practice and hit some grounders. So fact number one, Kevin Costner was a friend of the Ripken family in the 90s. Now about that power outage. That's Lou Pinella arguing with the ump crew about whether it was safe to play with a bank of unlit lights. The power outage, strangely enough, did not affect any parts of Baltimore outside of Camden Yards. It took over two hours for the ump crew to finally decide whether or not to call the game. And when they did, fans were not happy. Which brings us to fact number two. There was a power outage at Camden Yards. The Mariners-Orioles game was delayed for over two hours before the umps called it, pissing off thousands of fans in the process. So if there was a game, where was Ripken? Well, according to a reporter from the Baltimore Sun, he was at the game. He even went out onto the field to warm up during the delay. According to the theory, just because Ripken was seen at the game doesn't even necessarily mean that he didn't break his hand or get injured while punching Kevin Costner in the face. If this were the case, Ripken would have been too hurt to play in the following day's doubleheader too, which he wasn't. The time frame of the alleged affair also seems fishy. Let me present this movie poster. This is The Postman, a movie that as of taping is 9% rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, a truly awful film. But that's not the point. The Postman was filmed far away from Baltimore in the summer of 1997. Costner starred in, directed, and produced the terrible film, which debuted that December. So while it's not impossible for him to have been in Baltimore that night, given his schedule, it seems unlikely. Since 97, both men have, of course, denied the theory. On a Fox Sports radio show in 2001, Kylie and Booms mentioned the conspiracy, and the next day Costner, quote, snapped and called in to deny the rumors. He also claimed he and Kelly Ripken only met a couple of times, which is probably not true as they were seen watching an Orioles-Brewers game together in 1996. On NPR in 2008, Ripken addressed the rumor and said he remembered being at the game. I was definitely there, I was ready to play. And the funny part about it was, we all decided that it was better that uh, we play that night. Despite their denials, this theory has floated around on the internet for years, and you can see how. Costner was a well-known womanizer who divorced his college sweetheart in 94, had multiple supermodel girlfriends, and had a child with Bridget Rooney of the Rooney family in 96, which he only acknowledged after she made him take a paternity test. In 1997, there were rumors about the Ripkins' marriage, 
and someone put together the connection with Kevin Costner and then there was this weird mysterious power outage at Camden Yards that just added fuel to the fire. So what it really comes down to is whether or not you believe Cal Ripken Jr., Kevin Costner, a Baltimore Sun reporter, the Orioles, or decades of internet conspiracy mongering. Look, if Kevin Costner didn't want to be the star of a conspiracy theory, he should have never been in JFK. In 2017, Cal Ripken Jr. said that his favorite baseball movie was Bull Durham. And it seems unlikely that his favorite movie would be starring a guy who, yeah. Like and subscribe to SB Nation.